Life, for the most part, is tough as fucking shit, very difficult, uh, incredibly unfair. Life is incredibly fucking unfair. Unless you were born in a situation where you have a lot of opportunity because your parents had money and raised you well, everything is just going to be fucking tough. Everything is just going to be difficult. Everything, honestly, the best way I can describe it is just going to be a fucking bitch, okay? Everything is just going to be a fucking bitch. <laughs> but what choice do you have? Where's the other choice? What are, when you're at that point, what are your decisions? Let's stop and think about this. A, you're born into success. If you're born into success, lucky for you. Just follow the beaten path that your parents laid out for you and you could probably be successful. But what happens if you weren't born into success? Pretty much you're gonna have to fucking crawl through the shit for years and years and try to enjoy it as you do it and make something out of it. That's pretty much the, the decision. Or you can just stay in the shit. That's basically your options. Accept that life tends to be tough. Just accept it. Accept that if you didn't get the lucky lot in life, that your life's gonna be really tough, okay? But then from there, be appreciative of the things that you do have going for you because you probably have a lot more going for you than you even realize. So be appreciative for that and maybe you can make a better future for your kids and their kids' kids if you actually contribute to that. It's just, it is the way it is. It is the way it is. So just real, like if you think you have it bad, there's people that have it way worse. But most people's lives, your destiny is gonna be shit. Now, at a certain point, what you have to do is you have to look at your life and you have to say, do I accept this or do I not accept this? There, be willing to take a risk and cut off all other possibilities but success. But once you do take that risk, treat it very fucking seriously and go hard. Try to get to a point where that shit is stable while you still have a bit of your youth left so you don't have to kill yourself as much when you're older. You can relax and you can manage your health and look always for the things that you have unfair advantages of and then hammer it. So basically, we're at a point now where life is tough, incredibly unfair, but here's the flip side. The flip side is there's more opportunity now than ever before. Here's what you do if you want to get ahead. Completely cut out everything, okay? Everything that doesn't support you. Any type of food that doesn't support you, don't eat it. Every type of influence, like television or bullshit on the internet, don't look at it, okay? It's like Medusa, it will turn you to fucking stone. Don't look at it. But see, here's the bottom line. To get out of your rut that you're in, you have to be willing to manage your emotions. You have to be willing to manage your time very, very effectively. But you have to be very careful on how you manage your time. Uh, and you wanna manage your time extremely effectively. You should be aware of the time. You should take your time very seriously. You should be afraid to violate your time. You are gonna be dead soon enough. So don't waste your fucking time complaining, okay? Don't waste your time complaining. It's a terrible, terrible idea. You have to view your time like the most precious resource you have ever seen. We're just making the point that you have no fucking excuse, okay? That is never a fucking excuse. There is no excuse. No excuse is good enough. I don't care what you think your excuse is. There is never, an excuse is just fucking noise that people like myself or like Julian will cut over and laugh in your fucking face and stunt in your fucking face. That's all an excuse is, okay? There's, there's somebody out there who's beat your excuse, so just, you just have to beat it. There's just, don't even allow other thoughts in your head. Success and failure does not happen in the moment. Everything is bleeding into everything else. So the bad decisions that you make today have a ripple effect that can last for weeks or months. From the frame that I'm coming from is 
Let's go do some crazy shit. Let's go do something funny. Let's go do something wild. Let's go do something insane. Let's go fucking nuts. Let's go to the best clubs. Let's go to the, where the hottest girls are. Let's go hang with celebs. Let's go travel the world. Let's go do the craziest fucking shit. Go about life, look for the thing, try a lot of different things, fill your mind up with great information, put yourself around great people, value your time as the most important asset that you have, uh, just constantly be learning, growing, and of course, do things that are fucking fun, so you burn the boats. But the thing is, I said, you have to have a sense of urgency. It's like, it's like you have a gun pointed at your head all the time. A gun is at your head. You either do this or you're fucked. But it's not just taking the leap so that you're fucked. You also then have to execute.